Genre, Realistic Fiction The Talent Show Essential Question How do your actions affect others? Read about how Tina's actions affect Mara. Tina, there's a school talent show in three weeks, I shouted to my best friend. My older brother had been teaching me juggling, and I knew he'd help me with my act for the show. Tina ran over to the bulletin board and read the poster. Mara, what's our act going to be? Tina asked me. Our act, I said, taking a tighter grip on my books. Tina grinned, pointed to the poster, and said, It says acts can be individuals, partners, or small groups. My grip on my books became uncomfortably tight. You want to do an act together? It'll be fun, Tina said. I hesitated for a second before continuing. I've got an idea and... Tina interrupted me. Yeah, me too. Let's talk at lunch. During math, I tried to think of how I would tell Tina that I wanted to do my own act. After all, we are best friends. We should be able to see eye to eye about this. The problem is Tina always takes charge. I don't speak up. And then I end up feeling resentful about the whole situation. I desperately wanted to win, but it was more than that. I wanted to win on my own, with an act that was all mine. At lunch, Tina started talking as soon as we sat down. I have it all planned out. My inspiration came from that new TV show, You've Got Talent. We can sing along to a song and do a dance routine, and my mother can make us costumes. Yeah, that's good, I said, but I had another idea. I told her about my juggling act. Tina considered it. Nah, I don't think I can learn to juggle in three weeks, and I'd probably drop the ball, she said. We don't want to be humiliated, right? At recess, I ran around the track a couple of times just to let off steam. When my grandmother picked me up after school, she drove a few minutes and finally said, Cat got your tongue? I explained about the talent show as she listened carefully. So Tina is not being respectful of your ideas. But it sounds as if you aren't either. What? I shouted. I told Tina her idea was good. No, said my grandmother. I said that you weren't respectful of your own ideas, or you would have spoken up. I understand that you're friends, but you're still accountable for your own actions. I thought about this. So what should I do? I asked. I advise you to tell the truth, she said. It wouldn't hurt to let Tina know what you want. Besides, my grandmother added, it will be good for your self-esteem. When we got home, I took twelve deep breaths, called Tina, and told her that I was going to do my juggling act. She was curt on the phone, and I spent all night worrying she would be mad at me. The next day, she described her act and her costume. But the biggest surprise came at recess, when we played a game that I chose, not Tina. I guess standing up for myself did pay off. Make connections. Talk about how Mara was affected by Tina's actions. Tell about a time when someone wouldn't listen to your ideas. What did you do? Make predictions. When you read, use story details and your own experience to make predictions about what will happen. As you read the talent show, make predictions about the story. Find text evidence. You predicted that Tina is the kind of friend who is bossy. Reread page 37 of the talent show 
to find the text evidence that confirms your prediction. Tina, there's a school talent show in three weeks, I shouted to my best friend. My older brother had been teaching me juggling, and I knew he'd help me with my act for the show. Tina ran over to the bulletin board and read the poster. Mara, what's our act going to be? Tina asked me. Our act, I said, taking a tighter grip on my books. Tina grinned, pointed to the poster, and said, It says acts can be individuals, partners, or small groups. My grip on my books became uncomfortably tight. You want to do an act together? It'll be fun, Tina said. I hesitated for a second before continuing. I've got an idea, and... Tina interrupted me. Yeah, me too. Let's talk at lunch. During math, I tried to think of how... I read that Tina interrupts Mora when she tells her that she has an idea. This confirms my prediction that Tina is bossy. Your turn. Using clues you find in the text and your own experience, how do you predict Mara will solve a future problem? As you read, remember to use the strategy Make Predictions. Realistic Fiction The selection The Talent Show is realistic fiction. Realistic fiction is a made-up story, has characters, settings, and events that could exist in real life. Includes dialogue. Find text evidence. I can tell that the talent show is realistic fiction. The story mostly takes place at school. On page 37, Mara and Tina act and speak like real people who might go to my school. Dialogue. Dialogue is the exact words the characters say. Your turn. With a partner, list two examples from the talent show that let you know it is realistic fiction. Write about the text. I responded to the prompt, write a dialogue of the phone conversation between Mora and Tina. Include details from the story. Hey, Tina, it's Mora. We need to talk about the talent show. Sure, Tina replied. I've got our song picked out, and Mom is going to make us cool purple costumes. I picked out the material for them. Can you come over and practice? Um, actually, I need to tell you something, Tina. I'm going to do my own act, I said nervously. I paused and gulped. I I'm going to juggle. Oh, you want to do your own act? I see, Tina said. O okay. See you at school tomorrow. Focus on an event. I wrote a realistic phone conversation between Tina and Mora. Dialogue. I used informal language to show the characters' responses to situations. Grammar. Complete sentences have a subject and a predicate. Precise words. The strong verbs I used help describe how Mora felt. Your turn. Write a dialogue between Mora and Tina in which Mora chooses the game at recess. Use details from the story. <laughs> 